We made a fire without actually making a fire. We threw our lights in the water, yet they kept on working. If you don't know what I'm talking about, here's a teaser. only caught a glimpse, yet a glimpse was enough. Enough to make me come back over and over. What's up YouTube, Jock Raffert here with an exciting behind the scenes look at my latest film Finding Extraordinary with Nanlite. With the launch of the new Mark II Pavo tubes, Nanlite asked me to produce a piece that will showcase some of the new features, so for reference, the entire video was shot using only the 15x and the 30x. The main reason I love tube lights is the fact that they're so portable and able to operate on battery power. This is ideal for shooting in nature and on location where setting up lights can be difficult and time consuming. The 15X came in handy on the longer hikes because it's just the right size to throw into a backpack but still big enough to give me a soft light. One of my favorite scenes in the film is where the actor Jean is sitting in his car, grabbing a map, checking his notes and looking up through his window, contemplating the mission. Although it looks like a morning scene, we actually shot it just after the sun went down, so we had to shoot the scenes backwards. With lighting, the goal is always to keep it as natural as possible, to the point where the viewer is not aware that lights are being used, and in this case, motivating the natural light already coming through the window. Holding the tube horizontally creates a softer light and shooting backlit creating lots of shadows for definition. Looking at the before and after, you can clearly see how big a difference one tube makes and the 15X was just the right length to not spill into the frame without the need to angle it from the side. The 15X also works really great in the car for a driving scene where a longer tube wouldn't fit. We literally just put it down on a jacket because the shape allows it to lie down on the dashboard. Now the main feature of the new power tubes is the pixel FX, which enables you to shoot more scenarios than ever before. This means you can use different colors at the same time and actually make the light or lights move from one end to the other. With it also comes the debut of Nanlink, a smartphone app that enables you to control your lights wirelessly, simplifying the way you change the settings. Dialing in the desired effect is super easy and you can actually create and save settings for scenes. I used the driving effect to create a light moving from left to right. First in the scene where Jean wakes up in the tent and then again when Jean sees the light for the second time and in both examples you can clearly see how the light is moving over. The pixel effects also came in handy with a fire scene. Here we were challenged by the fact that we were in a national park and it's illegal and dangerous to make a real fire. Yes, that's correct, we didn't make an actual fire, making this scene one of my favorites because we had to be creative in the way we shot it. We combined two techniques to create a realistic fire flicker, with the first using pixel effects on the fire setting, with a few quick tweaks on the app. Adding the grid accessory onto the 30X enabled us to flag the light in a more realistic way and by randomly pressing it open and closed creates a more random flicker as one would expect from a fire. The opening shot was filmed at a location where it was safe to make a real fire and I used an overlay for a more realistic feel. A new accessory that's got me extremely excited is the introduction of the poverty water housing. Yep, now you can get creative in the water with absolute peace of mind. The housings are easy to use and it seals really tight. Now when shooting a scene like this in the dark, it's easy to completely lose the background because you have to expose for the lights and this is where we used another 15X to create a subtle rim light imitating moonlight. Shooting wide open at f1.2 at high ISOs on the A7S Mark III meant even at 1% the light was too bright to shine directly onto the background, so we only used some of the light spill to keep it as natural as possible. Tube lights can be used for so many things and in so many ways, but for me, I love the mobility that comes with it and the new power tubes will accompany me on every shoot going forward. Now a film like this isn't possible without the help of some amazing individuals, so make sure you check out the credits. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.